Oh, hello, this is Tak Chung from Walk with Ta. And welcome to my YouTube channel. And if you enjoyed this video and would like to receive notifications of my future video postings, uh, please subscribe. In this video, I would like to show you how to stir fry what I would call a perfect broccoli dish. Well, you might ask me, uh, what did you mean by perfect? So let me explain briefly. A couple years ago, uh, my friend Dan has invited me to his house uh, to do a cooking class dinner party for his family and some of his friends. Uh, in this case, uh, I would first start with a cooking class and I let the participants to do the cooking and then we eat what they have cooked. Uh, I usually set up the two to three burners so everybody will have a chance to cook and usually we have a lot of fun. And at the end of the class, uh, one of the guests, and I will call her Mary for the purpose of this video, uh, come up to me and talk to me about uh, broccoli. Uh, she told me she once was travel overseas and she uh, ate at a restaurant and they served her a broccoli side dish and she said that broccoli was the best broccoli she has ever tasted. Uh, she's a broccoli lover and she likes all kinds of broccoli and she said that particular broccoli that she had at that restaurant is something truly special. Uh, she then told me that she never had this broccoli again and she was not able to reproduce it either. Uh, she then asked me uh, would it be possible uh, for us to work it out. Uh, I told her that I love to try because I always like to have a challenge in cooking but first of all I asked her to describe this broccoli to me. Uh, she told me the most special aspect of this broccoli is its texture uh, because the florette is velvet soft whereas the stem is nice and crisp. Uh, furthermore, uh, this uh, broccoli is uh, cooked in a uh, garlic sauce which is not strong or not too weak, it's just about right. And lastly, she said this broccoli has a very delicate flavor and it enhanced the natural flavor of the broccoli excellently. Uh, personally, I have never been a great fan of uh, broccoli. I, I like them, but I do not want to have them all the time. So when she described this broccoli to me, I became very curious and I eager to go home and give it a try. Uh, so I got some broccoli for it and I cut them up to bite size. Uh, I'm going to use my uh, basic vegetable stir fry template and this template divided into uh, two parts. The first part I will stir fry the vegetables in hot oil and then the second part is I'm going to steam the vegetable uh, to the desired texture. I have my uh, broccoli all cut up and ready to go. So I'm going to use my Cuisine Art 14 inch standard steel wok uh, to cook this dish. Uh, after I heat up the wok, uh, I add 2 tablespoons of canola oil just enough to cover the bottom of the wok. I let the oil to heat up until it starts to smoke gently. I let it smoke for about 15 seconds. Uh, this is the time I season the wok. And I call this spot seasoning. If you are not familiar with this method, uh, you can take a look at this video. Uh, in the past, when I cook a vegetable dish uh, that with a garlic flavor, I often add the garlic in the beginning of the cooking process uh, because this will uh, provide the aroma. However, the garlic flavor to the dish will be less so. Uh, since Mary said she would like to have a more of a garlic flavor, so I decided I'm going to add the garlic later on during the cooking process. Therefore, I'm going to add the broccoli directly uh, to the wok right away. Uh, as uh, you can see that as soon as I add the uh, broccoli, uh, it starts to coat the surface with oil. Uh, after stir fry the broccoli for about uh, 10 to 20 seconds, I noticed that uh, uh, there are areas of the florette are not being coated with oil. Now because of the florette has a lot of surface area, so it is quite important that I'm going to add more oil to make sure all those surface areas are properly coated uh, in order for the frying process to occur properly. And I have my uh, oil squeeze bottle right here and it's very convenient to use the oil squeeze bottle to add the oil uh, because you can add precisely how much oil that you want to add. The main reason that why stir fry make food taste better is because of the temperature when the food is being cooked. Uh, by using hot oil, which at a temperature between 200 and 300 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, uh, the surface uh, of the food will generate flavor molecules. Uh, since oil can reach a much higher temperature, uh, therefore cooking in oil uh, will allow those flavor molecules to be generated. Uh, so in this case, uh, the longer you stir fry, uh, the more flavor molecule is likely to be generated. Uh, however, one of the problems about uh, frying is that uh, the uh, 
interior of the food ingredient is not going to be cooked very well uh, because the oil almost provides an insulation or the temperature uh, only uh, at the surface of the food ingredients. Uh, so I decided I'm going to um, stir fry the broccoli a little bit longer than I normally do uh, because I want the exterior of the broccoli, which is the florette, to become more soft. As the frying goes along, uh, more oil is being absorbed by the florette, so I have to add more oil uh, to prevent the surface of the florette to get burned. At this point, I decided that the florette is getting pretty soft, and so I did a taste test. But when I did a taste test, I discovered the inside of the florette, which is the stem of the broccoli, uh, remained to be quite crunchy. Uh, so the only way uh, to make the stem to have the texture that I want, uh, I need to steam the vegetable because only by steaming, uh, you can uh, have the heat penetrate to the interior of the broccoli. Uh, so next, I add uh, water uh, to the wok to steam the vegetable. I'm adding the garlic at this point uh, because uh, this will give the strongest garlic flavor uh, to the broccoli. I did a taste test and I find that the stem of the broccoli has a nice crunch to it. Uh, since I have stir fried uh, the uh, broccoli early on for a longer period of time, uh, so the florette uh, is very soft in compared to the stem. I think now the texture uh, has the characteristic that Mary has been looking for. Uh, the soft florets with a crunchy stem, uh, they provide a very interesting contrast to each other. Uh, in this step, I decided I'm going to season uh, this broccoli with my uh, basic seasoning mix. Uh, the whole goal is to enhance the natural flavor of the broccoli rather than overwhelming them. If you'd like to learn more about the individual components in this basic seasoning mix, uh, you can take a look at this video. Uh, cooking this dish uh, filled the kitchen with wonderful aroma. As I was finishing up the dish, uh, my wife uh, came by and she asked me what I was cooking. Uh, I told her and she decided she would like to give it a taste. Uh, she was kind of like me. Uh, she was not a great fan of uh, broccoli. But that probably is not going to be true anymore uh, because after she bite into this broccoli, uh, her face lit up and she said, uh, wow, this is the best broccoli that I have ever had. Uh, when I taste the broccoli, uh, I feel exactly the same way. Uh, so I quickly gave a call to Mary and let her know the result and I invited her to come over next week and we can cook this broccoli together and she can taste it and let me know whether this is what she expected. Uh, when Mary tasted the broccoli that we cooked together, uh, she was ecstatic and she said this is exactly what it was like. Uh, so uh, you might ask, uh, so what did you uh, have done differently uh, to give this particular outcome? Uh, in fact, I just make a couple of minor changes. Uh, the first change that I make is that uh, I stir fry the broccoli uh, in hot oil much longer than I normally do. And through this stirring fry process, I make the florette softer and more velvet-like by coating with oil. Uh, secondly, I steam the broccoli uh, for a much shorter time than I normally would. So this way, I will keep the stem relatively crunchy. Uh, so by making these two small changes, uh, I was able to create the texture of the broccoli that with a velvet-like uh, florette but with a crunchy uh, stem. Uh, the first thing that I did differently is that instead of adding the garlic uh, in the beginning of the cooking process, I add the garlic toward the end and that gives the broccoli a stronger garlic flavor, uh, which Mary really liked. Uh, I must admit, I was quite uh, surprised at how good uh, this broccoli tastes. So by making uh, several minor changes, it completely changed my view and attitude uh, toward broccoli. Uh, so through this video, I hope I have provided a demonstration to you that uh, uh, by changing small things, it can make big differences. And this is certainly true uh, in cooking. Uh, therefore, you should not be afraid to make changes and to explore and look at different possibilities how you uh, cook something that you might have done for a long time. I thank you for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please click the like icon below because that will help me to reach a broader audience. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you'd like to uh, notification of my future video postings. Uh, great, I will look for you next time.